my gosh, you're right there. What a good coyote. Ah, this is amazing. Why are you? Since launching the Brave Wilderness channel, there have been a slew of comments suggesting that we make a video of me, Coyote Peterson, meeting a real-life coyote, as in the animal. Sounds like a no-brainer that would be seemingly easy to produce. But truth be told, getting up close with a coyote is much more difficult than one might think. Approaching coyotes in the wild is virtually impossible as these skittish canids will often flee at the first smell, sound, or sight of humans. So it wasn't until we teamed up with the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center that this fateful meeting finally appeared as if it was going to happen. Renowned for their conservation efforts, specifically centered around wolves, this location is also home to an adorable pair of red foxes. I had some pretty good luck frolicking around with Rhett and Scarlet, we had some cheese, we played on the fox slide, Rhett stood on my head, and he even stole my glove, which wasn't exactly easy to get back. I only have one glove, and the odds of me being able to get that glove back are not real good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you see what's happening? Uh, uh, Rhett, my, oh boy. Rhett has taken my glove up and through the fox skyway. What we learned was that the foxes trusted me and the cameras in their enclosure. But I know gaining the trust of a coyote will be much more difficult. So to help in making a friendly introduction, I'll be working alongside the Wolf Center's founder and CEO, Darlene. For the past 20 years, she has dedicated her life to rescuing wolves and their cousins, all while educating the public about the importance of having these predators present in their natural environment. Good morning, Darlene. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks. I'm excited. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> this is going to be the first time that we actually have the opportunity for me to get face to face with the coyote. Now, just so you understand, it's been five years since we launched the Brave Wilderness Channel and the audience is always saying, Coyote, when are you going to get face to face with the coyote? But we've not had that opportunity until now here at the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center. Now, as I understand it, the coyotes are very skittish though, correct? They are. Yes, they are, um, um, but we'll give it our best shot. Okay, now in getting the coyote to come close, what's gonna be my best approach? What's gonna be the tactic? So we're actually gonna go in there and um, you wanna sort of be natural and, and just sort of maybe talk to him a little bit. His okay. name is Wiley. Okay, Wiley, <laughs> and, that sounds about right. Yes, <laughs> and they like uh, for you to be more on their level. So mm -hmm. standing up is sort of a little bit intimidating to them. And then I've got some power treats, as I call them, to see if we can say, hey, this is an offering. We just wanna say hi to you. All right, you lead the way. Okay. We're filming. Let's right. go. Let's go. For over a century, coyotes have suffered an unbelievably bad rap, portrayed as vicious killers that pose a threat to mankind. Yet this conviction couldn't be further from the truth. My goal is to demonstrate how timid these animals are, even one that has been practically hand-raised by humans. According to Darlene, I am one of the only outsiders that has ever tried to interact with this coyote, and physical contact by anyone other than Darlene has never been achieved. So it is completely possible that this animal will want nothing to do with me. So, Darlene, what we were thinking is maybe set up in this back snow area here. Back over here? Um, okay. Back over here, uh -huh. and I'm going to try to figure a good spot to place the cameras. Okay. And. We will see if the coyote will come down and hang out. What I'm gonna do is set up this camera. He's in here? Oh, he's in here, he's in his Whoa. little, he's in his little thing there. Oh, Wiley! There he is, that's his castle. It's like Game of Thrones in there. Yes. Hey buddy, I'm gonna take off my sunglasses. There he is, there he is, hi. Hi, hi Wiley. Hi, hey, yes, good boy. So that's his hey, little treats. coyote castle. And what I'm gonna do is set up the cameras over here. It's gonna take some time. I'm gonna have to be very patient, but with any luck, he'll warm up to us uh, and come out and we'll have this moment. Mario and the crew are setting up their cameras on an overlooking observation porch. Their presence in the enclosure will definitely be too intimidating for the coyote. 
Keeping the technology footprint small is important, so I have a pair of GoPros that shouldn't seem too threatening. I'll set those up next to me with the hope that they will catch any up-close moments with the coyote. If I am simply able to get this animal to investigate my presence, I will consider the encounter an incredible success. Today is Coyote's big day. He's going to meet a real coyote. Myself and Matt were up here. We've got this vantage point. Coyote, the animals are very skittish. Uh, they're intelligent animals and they've survived for so long because of the fact that they are so skittish and they could actually hide from predators and from humans. They actually are very good at living on the peripheral of urban environments or actually even in urban environments, but they're seldom seen. They're just super secretive and elusive. So right now Darlene is trying to coax Wiley out of his low castle. You guys have to remember, the coyotes, they're very smart animals. So anytime there's something different in uh, a coyote's environment, it's going to be very, very skittish. So um, it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some patience, but with any luck, I'm going to go face to face with one of my adorable cousins. There he is, good boy. Boy, very nice, good boy. Hi, Wiley. Good boy. Buddy. It's okay. Okay, Wiley is officially out of his castle at this point. Just a few feet from me. Hi, good morning. He's getting there comfortable. He is. Good boy. Good here boy. he comes. He's right here. There he is. We're here to say hi to you. Good boy. Very I'm going nice. to actually put a bag of treats into my pocket okay. and see if Wiley will get a little more comfortable with us. See this? Little tiny meat treats. Those are just little pieces of bologna right there. A perfect treat for a coyote. Now he's coming right up to me. There you go, bud. Look at that. There you go. Oh my gosh, you're right there. That's so cool. That's what really good. good. What a good coyote. Hi, bud. I'm just going to lay down like this. Wiley. Look, treats. Oh. You see that? He oh, took it right out of my hand. That's really good. That's really good? He doesn't do that for people that he has never met before. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. You need, a, that's that's your relative right there. So. Okay. <laughs> Why we? This is amazing. Only a few minutes in and already Coyote has eaten out of my hand. Why we? Here go. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Look, there we go. Very yeah. good. Okay. What a good boy. Ah, this is amazing. Amazing. I thought it was going to take so much longer for him to get comfortable. He must know that I'm one of his friendly cousins. Look at the hesitation. That timid pause in the seconds that seem to last forever as this creature slowly lends me its trust. Does this behavior scream bloodthirsty killer to you? I didn't think so. Next to wolves, there isn't a predator on our planet that has been more aggressively driven toward annihilation than the coyote. It hurts my heart that humans choose to destroy before they care to understand. And whether you believe it or not, our planet needs coyotes and the predator versus prey balance they bring to the ecosystem. This is amazing. My first contact with a coyote. I'm so thrilled right now. So we came to Colorado in the winter because we wanted to experience the wolves and coyotes in their best coat. So in the winter they had their big fluffy coats and in order to prepare for this, Coyote actually started to grow out his beard. Actually I did as well. As of right now, Coyote's got his uh, big beard and he's got his big uh, actual coat on that has kind of some uh, fake fur that kind of looks like Coyote. So I think he's trying to not only think like a coyote, but he's trying to actually look like one too. That is awesome. That is me face to face, about as close as you're gonna get with a coyote. Such a beautiful, beautiful creature. That was awesome. Okay, well, Wiley has moved up and into the other enclosure. 
I don't think it could have gone any better than that. How did oh, I do? My gosh, that was amazing. Simply amazing. You did fantastic. <laughs> Within the first five minutes, getting Wiley to come up and actually take a piece of cheese out of my hands was beyond my expectations. We spent about 20 minutes filming the scene. We thought it may take hours, but I think Wiley realized, hey, I'm a coyote, you're a coyote, we should be buddies. You've got little meat and cheese treats. Let's hang out. <laughs> That's it. I didn't even think that would happen. So you must have some coyote blood in you. <laughs> Well, my namesake has come true. I'm officially one with the coyotes. Darlene, I cannot thank you enough for getting me up close with one of these animals. The audience has been waiting to see this for quite some time. And I think at this point, we're ready to move on to wolves. Let's move on to wolves. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Coyotes continue to be cast as villains and the overly hyped horror stories that surround them drive a fear into society that in turn creates an unwarranted hatred for the species. Human interactions do occasionally occur. However, these canids are not something we should fear, but instead should have a well-educated awareness of. Coyotes do not consider humans to be prey, but it is fair to say that domestic animals, like cats and smaller dogs, do occasionally make enticing targets. If you have an outdoor pet, be cognizant of coyotes in your area. Don't leave them outside and unattended, especially during the hours when these predators are most active. Coyotes have found, and always will find, a way to survive. As humans, our mission should be finding a way to survive alongside these predators, not without them. What's better than getting into an enclosure with a coyote? Getting into an enclosure with two foxes. For cuteness overload, go back and see if I'm able to outfox a fox. Hey, that was my glove you just stole. Hurry up, Coyote Pack. Before we chase after that finicky fox, make sure to subscribe and ring the dinner, I mean, notification bell, so you can join me and the brave crew on our next wild adventure.